Hello. Today we are solving a simply supported beam with a hinge support at point B. And uh, that's the loading condition. And the question says we should solve for the reaction at C. Reaction at C. And so how do we go about solving a problem like this? Uh, the first thing you want to do, you realize that you cannot use a simple equilibrium to solve this problem. Because in essence, you have about four reactions. And you are going to have only three equations from uh, the static equation. And one of the equations will not help you. So you actually have two. And you have four unknown. So the best way to solve this is to break this beam into two and then solve them individually and then with that you'll be able to arrive at solving reaction at C. So let's start. So you, the first section of the beam is point A to point B. You create a simple free body diagram there. So that's uh, your hinge, hinge support. At C, and that is a five keep in post load. And we do this distance to be five, five feet. Okay, so we broke this beam here at point B, so we are solving for this section. Point A, B. And then over here at point B, you have uh, a vertical reaction. So let's assume it's going up. That's an assumption. We are going to find out if our assumption is correct or not. All right? And of course, the other one will go, will go that. That's also an assumption. Uh, if this one goes up, this one's come down. That's a V. That's a VD. That's shear at point B, at the point of the hinge support. So, now we know that at hinge support, there is no moment. Hinge support do not have moment. So that means the moment at point B is zero. So you can simply say the sum of moment the sum of moment at B is equals to a zero, and that will be five multiplied by half of this five foot, will be 2.5. That will be 12.5. Now our convention is that counterclockwise is positive. Counterclockwise is positive. And vertical for the force or shear going up will be positive, and this one going right will be also be positive. So this load creates a moment about this point counterclockwise, so that's positive 12.5, and then this is our point A. We have a y force a y reaction for a y so that creates a clockwise rotation about point b and so that will be negative based on our convention that will be uh, five a y equals to zero okay so a y is equals to 12.5 divided by Five, which comes to 2.5 kips okay 2.5 kip and is positive okay it's positive so the force here is four is five is 2.5 and now you do some of the moment so we know this reaction now 
you move some of the forces rather, some of the forces in the y direction to be zero. That means 2.5, which is A, 2.5 cubes. And then we have a 5 cubes, which comes down. That will be negative. And then V, VB, we don't know what VB is. But now we can know it because we have the equation to solve that. So, VB becomes 2.5 also, 2.5 cubes, and it's also positive. So that means our assumption here is correct. That force is going up, and it makes sense, well, equilibrium-wise. You have five cubes coming down, and then you have five cubes going up. 2.5 here, 2.5 here added up, make up for the five feet. That is coming down here so so we know the reaction here so we are we are done with this section of the beef so you move to the next section which is uh point b d so point b d you can sketch another free uh, free body diagram okay this is our point b and then we already established that point b is 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 positive here so, but on the other side, it creates a negative reaction. So this was going up to balance that point. There has to be a, a downward force. So this force is coming down here. And we know the magnitude of that force as 2.5 kips. Okay. So uh, this point is here is five feet. And here is 10 feet. Okay. All right. So we have this uh, uniform load of one kips per foot. So the equivalent point load of this uniform load will be one one kip per foot multiplied by ten foot. That gives you ten kips in the middle of the beam. So that will be 10 kip, okay? So this is our point, point D, point C, and that's where we, are, we have interest on. So now we need to solve for the reaction at point C. To simplify this, you could just uh, take a moment about point D. You already know the reaction at point B. So you see some of the moment at D will be zero, which will be uh, this 2.5 will be creating a counterclockwise rotation about point D. And based on our orientation, that will mean a positive moment. So 2.5 multiplied by 5 plus 10, that's 15, that gives you 37.5. All right? Now, we are interested in the uh, reaction at C. So we have that. And then here we have the 10 kip. So that 10 kip will create a, also a positive moment around point D. So and that's a 10 kip multiplied by half of this length, which is 5 feet. That will 10 multiplied by 5. That will give us uh, 50. That's 50 kip foot. And then the point of our interest, point C, the reaction at C, that will be this reaction here, we assume is going up. So you, uh, this force, CY, multiplied by this moment arm of 10. So, and that will be in a clockwise, will be based on our uh, orientation, that will be negative. So that will be negative 10 CY is equals to zero. When you do the math here, that means 85, I mean 87, right? 87.5, that's if you add this to this, and this come to the other side of the equal sign, that will be a CY divided by 10. So your answer will be 8.75.
five cubes and it's positive so I mean, our assumption is correct so that is your solution to this and that solution is uh, D your answer is D yeah so I hope uh, that helped just walk through the proceed the process you know one after the other in an exam condition you can uh, go through this quickly in three to uh, four minutes or even less than that I hope that helped please stay tuned for more video thank you